part five, ladies and gentlemen, part five of this big Mr. Beast allegation saga. We have even more dog pack stuff to go over. And when we get to the end of this, I think some stuff in here is going to be absolutely mind blowing. So let's get into this right now. So guys, do you remember that one dude in Dog Pack's video where he called him Delaware? Well, the first piece of information we're gonna look at now is based off of this Delaware dude. So obviously Dog Pack, knowing that people are gonna try and attack this Del Delaware dude, he says, on a serious note re regarding the offender in the video, uh, please do not post his address, do not harass him, he has a family. I mean, fair enough for him to post that. But then Jake Franklin, oh good old Jake Franklin, comes on here and says the truth. Ooh. Yes, Delaware is my brother-in-law. Yes, he is a registered sex offender. When he was 21, a 16-year-old girl accused him of others, accused him and others of sexual assault when he when she was 11. Delaware took a plea deal. That's why there was no jail time, but he still had to register. His nickname isn't Delaware because he can't go back to Delaware. He's from Delaware. That was the dumbest thing I've ever heard. He's been back several times. Okay, so I'm guessing that's something debunked from Dog Pack's video. He was hired before I was, and was actually the reason I got hired to, at Mr. Beast. Before being hired, Delaware sat down with Jimmy and Sue, Jimmy's mom, and explained to them everything. So yes, Jimmy knew. But again, this incident happened in 2010. Delaware was hired in 2017-2018. Delaware was also let go from the company before I was. Delaware was supposed to be a behind the scenes manager, but in a couple of videos he was asked to partake because we needed people. He was reluctant, especially in the straight jacket video because of his charges and that's why he wore the mask. Alright, so I'm guessing that's something. Delaware's charges are set to be dropped this fall. Delaware has been nothing but a good person, an amazing husband to my sister, and the best father to my two nieces that I could ever ask for. They want no part in this and want to just live their lives away from the limelight. I understand why anyone would be upset and frustrated over these allegations and I do not blame them. Hurting kids in any way is completely unacceptable, but in the case of Delaware, I firmly believe he did nothing wrong and look forward to the day these charges are dropped. Thank you. So, the way I see it, most likely that this is something that many uh, teenage girls do. They will try to attack somebody say that they were SA'd by them so to, just to you know probably get some money off of it but if Delaware if this Delaware dude didn't do nothing wrong then I truly for sorry truly feel sorry for him but only time can tell but as of right now especially since Dog Pack retweeted it seems like he's in the right of this so we have Rosanna Pancino here with a tweet we all know Roseanne has been a big part of uh, the Mr. Beast stuff. I've heard rumors from people working close with Mr. Beast that he is hiring, uh, I think I think it says police. Uh, I, think, I think that's supposed to be an acronym for the police uh, to investigate those speaking up against him. Thank you to the people who reached out to warn me and others. I now have confirmation from several people that individuals are indeed being offered money to fabricate stories about me and others. I have identified some of these people already. They began harassing my friends as of last weekend. I am keeping all the receipts. If there's one thing I've learned from online drama, you have to keep all your receipts, bro. Like, like keep, like, like keep all your receipts. And I think Dog Pack says here, if they find my club, if they find my club penguin chat logs, I'm fucked. <laughs> I think isn't club penguin like dead or something? Uh, and then we have what is this? Oh, it's Keemstar. Oh boy, Killer Keem. Uh, so Dog Pack says, there's a lot of reasons someone might vague post, could be under an NDA, or could be testing the waters, looking for support to share more. I think describing her story as blah 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 is fucking disgusting. Also, you've been milking her post more than she has. So wait, Mr. Beast's ex-girlfriend speaks out, so is Keem saying that... Jimmy's girlfriend's story is blah blah blah. Okay, you have me intrigued now, Dog Pack. You have me intrigued. Mr. Beast ex girlfriend is speaking out. She put out this post saying. Oh wait, uh, so there's something to read here. I've spent years, years being quiet. 
never acknowledging that time in my life just quietly cheering on those who I saw mistreated. I don't want drama, I don't want anything, I just want to speak up for my 19 year old self. 19 to 21 are formative years, and as a young woman it impacted the way I saw myself, the way I interpreted my future and how I trusted men. There was no user manu uh, manual, there was no instructions on how to deal with ga gaining a following quickly, no cheat sheet on dating someone famous. I did the best I could, but I was not okay. Months of therapy, so many journal, journal entries, long talks with my mom. Why do I still feel like it was all for nothing? I believe I should be used as a uh, cautionary tale. If something is too good to be true, it probably is. How he treats, I think he, she's talking about Jimmy, obviously. How he, how he treats other women will ultimately be how he treats you. You are smart, beautiful, capable, and capable of a career, life, and relationship you are proud of. I do not aim to take anyone down. Just simply and explicitly tell you that there are scary people out there. People will hurt you, use you, spit you out, and then tell you it's your fault. It's... All of our jobs to protect our friends, our moms, our wives, our sisters, our daughters, ourselves from people like that. If you, if you, I think it says if you see something, if you see something not cool, speak up. All right. She spent years being quiet, never acknowledging the time of her life, just quietly cheering on those who she saw being mistreated. Goes on to say, blah, 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 blah. It really seems like she's trying to expose Mr. Beast and say something. But if you read this big, long post from Maddie Spelt, Which I did. It says literally nothing. Then... Kim. Are you fucking stupid or something? This woman put out a tweet saying three years away. Three years away from this weirdo, my skin is clear. My relationship and friends are flourishing. I'm fro frolicking in a field. She's so vague. She said nothing. From the looks of it, I don't need to. Uh, no, not putting myself through that shit again, but away thanks. From that weirdo, my skin is clear. My relationship and friends are flourishing. I'm, I am frolicking in a field. Quotations. She's so vague. That... Kim, why are you saying that was blah blah blah? These are real humans that have real stories and if she was I don't think anyone would want to like drop like a long text like that whether it's Jimmy's uh, girlfriend or even uh, Where is he? Uh, Jake Franklin over here. Some people they don't drop uh, stuff like that unless they're truly hurt by it, so yeah, this is 2024. Not a lot of people are going to write journal entries on uh, on uh, Twitter or Instagram. If you if they do, that's how you know they're really hurt. Let's see here. I can confirm that Mr. Beast regularly steals ideas and doesn't give compensation or credit. Jimmy even says in podcasts that all the video ideas come out of his head, which is false. He literally has an ideation department. What does this say? Stole my ideas, paid me nothing. I also work for Mr. Beast as a thief. Oh yeah, I saw this on my recommended. It said one hour ago and it had like 7,000 views. I saw this on my recommended. I think I should watch this as well. Uh, let me know if you guys want to watch this video, but I did see this on my recommended when it was brand new. So I just like, now I have other people that do that and they just go, here's a bunch of things we think will inspire you. And I'm like, those all suck. But, you know, this is cool <laughs> and this is what popped in my head. So it's like, instead of me spending 10 hours like learning all these things so I can pull inspiration from, I just have them do it. They give me, you know, a hundred things and then it inspires me and two ideas come out of it. That is kind of amazing to me that even this far into your business, and it's big, you have what, 250 employees, something like uh, that? Uh, yeah, on the production side, somewhere between that and 300. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And yet every idea for every video comes out of your head. I mean, at the end of the day, even these new bloods I'm training, like I've been doing this for way longer. So <laughs> that's I, the one thing you literally can't find anyone. So that's interesting. He has an ideation department. I think that was, I think that was kind of like hinted at in the second dog pack video by uh, the dude, and then not, not dog pack himself. I'm, uh, I think his na his first name was uh, I think was also Jake. Uh, basically, the guy that Dog Pack interviewed in the video. I don't know why I'm forgetting his name, but that guy. He said something about an ideation department as well. Okay. I think... I think this is the thing. 
that uh, is very very serious. Oh, Chunky, Chunky's back. Uh, you take th those these claims so seriously that it took you two weeks to respond. You said I was on drugs, threatened to sue me, conducted the largest cover-up in YouTube history. That's actually kind of facts. And now you want my help. Help? What is he talking about? So, I think this is from Dogpack's perspective. So this is Dogpack's, uh, this is Dogpack's thing, and this is Chunky's uh, response. Uh, so Dogpack says, I've re "I'm receiving many DMs, corroborating very serious." Accuses of sexual harassment, sexual assault, and sexual coercion occur occurring within the company. Hearing these stories from both former con con contestants and employees alike, anything you would care to address, or are you just interested in taking uh, talking about raccoons <laughs> and discrediting my character? So, wait, there's an email? Hey, the company takes these claims extremely seriously. This is Stephanie. She works at... Uh, uh, Quinn, Quinn, Quinn Manuel, I think that's how you say it. The company we hired to do an independent investigation? And she asked if you could send over anything to help me with the investigation. And I'm guessing this is her email at quinmelt.com. Oh, Jimmy. Jimmy, your own boy is turning on you. <laughs> Chunky became a baby face. <laughs> this is awesome to see. Oh, I love this. I love this. And yeah, that, that, that's the most recent thing. The the, the, the thing that's pinned here is uh, the, the video of part two, which I reacted to. You guys saw the live stream. But I love this. I, I love this. I, I love the fact that there's even more evidence to back up the fact that, you know, Jimmy, Jimmy's not a good guy, man. It's crazy that, you know, he was hiding all this for so long. And it, and it only took like a month and a bit to get all this information out. It's, it's, it's crazy. It's honestly pretty crazy. And it probably took even less than a month. I can't remember when that do first dog pack video dropped, <laughs> but you know, that dude really led the charge and is, you know, he's now responsible for doing one of the best services I think anyone could have ever done. Because imagine if he said nothing distracted by uh, an NDA. We went on with the rest of our lives and we watched Mr. Beast videos thinking this guy is some sort of angel. But in reality, he's the biggest devil to ever exist. Peace.